Hey guys, welcome to Fish Hook. I'm Charles. Today we've got a special treat for you. We're going to be doing crab meatballs, or com more commonly referred to as crab balls. Got it from Jensen's Brothers Seafood, one pound of crab here. And this is uh, all hand picked, wild caught. So I can't get any fresher than that. Here's our crab meat. So now we're going to add our Ritz crackers and let me go over the ingredients and the ingredients we've got yellow mustard we've got Worcestershire sauce this one called for one complete carton not carton one sleeve of Ritz crackers some Old Bay seasoning I got fresh squeezed lemon juice parsley for flakes and good old egg. So we're going to crack an egg. We're going to get this mixture started and mix it up. Let's just get that going. This is an easy one and we're going to bake, <clears throat> bake it in the uh, oven. I'm going to put the mustard in with the egg. We'll put our lemon juice and our Worcestershire sauce. Mix this concoction up. This is what she'll look like when she's done. Now we'll take the crab and we're going to add the crackers to it. And the parsley and then we've got to add the Old Bay and we are going to mix this up now we're going to pour this right over the mixture We're going to add one more egg to this. Just add it as you need it. If it's still not, uh, not smooth enough, then we'll add another egg to it because we're going to make meatballs out of this. Let's add one more egg. I would normally mix this with my hands, but I'm using this with now. We're getting good consistency. There we go. Excellent. All right, she's nice and smooth. Beautiful. Well, we're gonna get this Pyrex bowl to serve as a cookie pan. We're gonna set our oven at 350 on bake. We're gonna bake it for 30 minutes. We're using Irish cream butter. We're just going to put a little bit of butter in the bottom here so nothing sticks. Just enough to coat the bottom. And we're going to make our meatballs. Making a lot of Italian meatballs is pretty easy. There you go. So we'll make these up now. You can make them any size you want, but this is for appetizers especially. Oh yeah, these are delicious. They smell great. Fresh crab. Cannot get better than that. When you get just enough of the right mixture, it's smooth, it doesn't stick to your hands. You get a nice glazing on your hands. You've got a good mixture there. I've seen people do it with an ice cream scoop. It really doesn't matter. Depending on the size of the meatball that you want. You like that? Isn't that beautiful? This is a quick recipe. You can do this in 30 minutes. Uh, well, 30 to 45 minutes. 15 minutes of quick prep. 
and then uh, 30 minutes in the oven. And again, if it's not enough, you do it a little bit more. Just don't overcook them. You want them to be nice and moist. This crab ran me $15.99 a pound fresh in. They just got it in. It's all domestic, nothing imported. Well, guys, here you have it. Crab balls. And we're going to put it in here. We're going to set our timer for 30 minutes. She's set. And when it's done, we've got a little bit of butter. And we're going to drizzle butter over everything. So we'll wait to heat this up to the very end. This is all you got. You got Old Bay, Ritz, Worcestershire, yellow mustard, a little lemon, parsley flakes, and an egg, and the star of the dish. Fresh lump crab meat. And th all this particular crab meat is from the claw. Just really, really tasty. 30 minutes is up. Let's see what we have created. This is flipping hot. Crab meatballs. So we're going to test one first to see if it's cooked, ready. Amy, I'm going to use you as a guinea pig. Okay, here's the plate. Okay, you just taste this, tell me. See if this is good. Okay. And then I'm going to drizzle the butter off everything. It's look good? It's really nice good. Meat. What would you serve this with? Oh yes, crackers. Uh, we're going to forego that. I don't have saltine crackers. You can do that. You can use the Ritz crackers, but these are great. In fact, I made them a little bit bigger. They really should be like Swedish meatballs, really small. So this calls for a little bit of butter. So we melted, I drizzled a little bit of butter. And I'm just going to catch each one very slightly. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. I think I'll finish my meatball. <laughs> oh, she likes it, guys. Well, let's serve this up. Yeah. Did you get to try it? No, I will here in a second. Okay. Let me put one in, in your dish. Come here. Okay. Just over here. So I can do this. Good. I put, I basted it with a little bit of butter so it wouldn't stick. Mm. So let's see how it is, hon. Does it meet right. your approval? Mm-hmm. Those are nice, mm. meaty. Oh, oh yeah, there's a pound of lump crab. They stuck together very well too. Did you use breadcrumb? Ritz. Oh, Ritz crackers? Ritz crack. Mm, this is delicious. Yeah, these are good. Oh yeah. I could taste the Worcestershire sauce too. Crab balls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you it's, it's absolutely delicious because you don't even eat crackers with this. But no. a lot of people do. I like the butter. That's great. Very nice. Oh yeah, star of the dish is fresh lump crab meat. Excellent. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in and taking this time out. These crab balls overall was about 45 minutes from start to finish. It took about 15 minutes to prep it. Once you have all your ingredients laid out, that is. 30 minutes in the oven. And I'm telling you, they're delicious. I can, I can have these with eggs. Mm. This will go good even with eggs. With not a couple of uh, over easy eggs, I could have this crab with it. I, I just see a lot of purposes in a lot of areas where you can use crab balls and in a dip as well. So you can let your mind run wild. We'll have all the, the uh, recipe in the links below. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for us. Be part of the family and turn on the notifications and send us a like if you really like it. And you guys have been awesome on your comments and your likes. We really appreciate it. So we've got more great, healthy dishes coming. We're gonna do a little series on healthy seafood. So the next one's gonna be great. I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag, but I think you'll be surprised. So thanks again and God bless.